Thank you, Zephyr. Uh, okay, let's summarize what happened so far. So our consciousness was copied when we got in a car crash because they wanted to see if they could prolong our life or something because we had terminal tumor cancer in our brain from the crash. And then that was in 20, like 10 or something. And then they saved the data in our brain all the way to 2100, 2050. And then they used our consciousness to upgrade, upload into a system. And then turns out the Earth is died, and because a comet hit, and then everybody's just trying to live in a virtual world with their consciousness living on. And then, but then something went wrong, and then the AI that overlooks the whole factory, <laughs> the whole place. What am I doing after this? Uh, <laughs> don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Your mom. Hi, Def. Why are you, you holding my arm back? Remember me, but thank you so so much for what you said the previous time I donated. Yes. Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went we'll from a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life. We're having an existential so crisis right now. Uh, There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the yard, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends? I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... Catherine? Kath? Hello, Catherine. What happened? Okay, so if you got duplicated 